Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have discussed this very important formula that is the distance of a point to the decision surface in support vector machine. Okay, so this one is suppose our hyperplane, which is basically separating our two classes. Okay, present in our training data. This is one point for which we want to calculate the distance between this point and this hyperplane. That is basically C. Okay. For this point, the position vector we have considered as x, and this w vector is the vector perpendicular to this hyperplane. Okay, right? And what is the formula we derived for C? The formula of C is this one. Okay, that is mod of minus of omega dot x plus b by mod of omega. As this is mod, so we can ignore this minus sign and. Here in the denominator already mod is present, so we can restrict the mod in the numerator only, and we have derived the uh, distance between a point and the hyperplane is this one: omega vector dot x vector plus b. This one will be inside mod, okay? By our mod of omega. Right, this is what we derived, and here I have written that only distance between a point and the hyperplane is uh, x i. Okay, any vector. Okay, uh, position vector of a point. Okay, dot w vector plus b. This is inside mod by mod of w. Right, what is w? What is b? Multiple times I have discussed previously. Okay, now the concept comes margin. You just recall I have discussed about this margin. In the discussion of how SVM works, the margin is basically the distance between the decision boundary, or we also call this hyperplane in fancy terms, and the closest training point. Okay. Now the question comes: How to calculate this margin? Okay. So if you just take this particular diagram, the concept of margin will be very clear to you. This is one class which is denoted by this cross. Another class is denoted by this circular shape O. Okay, the hyperplane or decision boundary which is separating these two classes is this one. Okay, what is margin? Margin is the distance be between the hyperplane and the closest training point. Okay, so you can see from the visual inspection itself, you can conclude that this point and this point. Are almost at same distance and are closest to this particular hyperplane. So these two, uh, via these two training point, our basically two parallel hyperplane, two parallel plane will go, and that distance between the mean this one, which is basically minimum distance in between training data and our hyperplane, will be considered as margin. Now the question comes: How we can calculate margin? See, very simple. You already know how to calculate the distance between one data point and the hyperplane from the previous video discussion. So what you do, you calculate all possible distance, okay, in between each training data point and the hyperplane, okay, like this. You calculate all possible distance and then take the minimum one. That will be basically my margin, right? So how you can uh, represent this one in terms of mathematical notation? See, very simple. The margin again and again. I am telling what is margin? Margin is distance from the closest turning point to the hyperplane, or the margin is basically distance in between the hyperplane and the turning point, which is basically closest to that hyperplane. Right? Simple word. So this is what is the distance of any turning point from the hyperplane. Now, for all possible turning point, we will calculate this, and we will be taking the minimum one. So simply, we can write. This way, in terms of mathematical notation, I will be changing this x i is basically position vector for all the training point. Okay, I will change throughout all data point. It will uh, perform the same distance and it will take the minimum value. That's all. Sometimes you might see the same equation like this. No need to confuse. Just the same equation, but sometimes b is also represented by w not. Okay, so this one is basically the margin formula. Okay, minimum. Of this particular equation for varying i, okay, and this one how we have achieved? This one is nothing but our distance between one training point and the hyperplane, and that minimum distance I am taking that is nothing but the margin, okay. So this is another very very important math mathematical formula with respect to support vector machine.
algorithm okay keep this in mind this might help you to give answer of some two state question which frequently asked in machine learning related interview process right this is all for my this video thank you for watching